Civilizations with Human Sacrifice Series, Episode 9. The Vikings. The Vikings were a seafaring people from Scandinavia who flourished during the Viking Age, which lasted from the late 8th century to the mid 11th century. They were known for their skilled shipbuilding, impressive navigational abilities, and fierce warrior culture. The Vikings left a lasting impact on European history through their extensive trade networks, raids, and settlements in various parts of the continent. One of the more controversial aspects of Viking culture was their practice of human sacrifice. The Vikings believed that sacrifice was necessary to appease the gods and ensure their favor in battle. Sacrifices were often made to Odin, the god of war, wisdom, and death, as well as to other gods and goddesses. The Vikings also believed that human sacrifice was necessary in certain situations. For example, before a battle, a warrior might offer a human sacrifice to Odin in the hopes of gaining victory. There are several accounts of Vikings' human sacrifice in historical texts. One of the most well-known examples is the sacrifice of nine people in Uppsala, Sweden, which was described in detail by the chronicler Adam of Bremen in the 11th century. According to Adam, the nine victims were hung from trees and their blood was collected in a bowl, which was used to sprinkle the statues of the gods. Another account comes from the Icelandic sagas, which describe a ritual known as the blood eagle. In this ritual, the victim's ribs were cut open and pulled outwards to resemble the wings of an eagle. The victim was then left to die, and it was believed that their soul would ascend to Valhalla, the Viking afterlife. Burning was another method of human sacrifice used by the Vikings. The victim would be tied to a stake or placed in a large wooden structure, which was then set on fire. This was believed to appease the gods and ensure success in battle or other endeavors. Another method of human sacrifice was throat slitting, where the victim's throat was cut and the blood was collected for use in ritual offerings. This method was typically used in more private settings, such as in a temple or during a private ritual. The victims were often prisoners of war, slaves, or criminals, but in some cases, they may have even sacrificed members of their own community or tribe. According to the Icelandic sagas, the Viking chief Ingemundr sacrificed his own son in a bid to appease the gods and gain their favor. The sacrifice was said to have taken place during a famine, when the community was desperate for food and resources. In another account from the sagas, a Viking chief named Sigur Hakanarsson sacrificed his own son to Odin in the hopes of gaining victory in battle. This sacrifice was said to have taken place in the 9th century. The Norse Gaelic population of the Isle of Man is believed to have practiced human sacrifice, and there are reports of members of their own community being sacrificed in rituals. According to one account, a king of the Isle of Man named Magnus Barefoot was said to have sacrificed his own son in a ritual to ensure good weather for a sea voyage. There are also historical accounts of Vikings volunteering for sacrifice, but it's important to note that such instances are rare and not common practice. These individuals were often motivated by belief in the power of sacrifice and a desire to please the gods. A famous example is the story of the Swedish King Aun, who is said to have sacrificed himself to ensure victory in battle. Legend has it that Aun had a dream in which the god Odin appeared to her and demanded a sacrifice in return for victory. Aun agreed to sacrifice herself and was buried alive in a mound believed to be a gateway to the underworld. Another example is the story of a Viking chieftain named Sigurd Ring, who volunteered for sacrifice during a famine to appease the gods and put an end to the drought. It is said that Sigurd threw himself into a pit filled with weapons and other offerings, leaving him to die. While these stories are based on historical events, it's important to note that they are also part of Viking mythology and may not be entirely accurate. 
Additionally, the practice of sacrificing members of their own community was not widespread among the Vikings, and most instances of human sacrifice involve prisoners of war or slaves. If you like it and enjoyed it please share it with your family and friends for your support. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss an upload. Thank you so much.